delighted that we're at the start of Rolling Out Our Peace programme. It's a cross-border, cross-community reconciliation programme. We have about six and a half million pounds and it's going to make a real difference to communities. All our programmes are on, on the ground in local communities, whether people are coming from Sperrin, Straban, Strathfoyle, Chantal, or, or from Caw, Clawdy, Craigan, right across our council area, this money is going to make a difference to people and communities on the ground. We listened, uh, when we were consulting about this programme, we listened to what communities said they wanted to happen in terms of peace and reconciliation, and I'm delighted that we have a programme that's now hitting the ground uh, to make a difference on those issues. We've developed a project for young people which is called Just Us and it's looking at uh, what we're calling tension-laced identity issues. So that's young people's understanding of the conflict or the past, the troubles, uh, legacy. Their preferred way of rolling the programme out is training the trainer. So we recruit experienced teachers and youth workers and we immerse them in uh, the programme over two days. It's enabled us to do that, uh, and I think without the funding, clearly we wouldn't be in a position to, to roll it out. The Nerve Centre are working in partnership with the Tower Museum to deliver the programme over the next three years, which is around looking at the latter half of the decade of centenaries, uh, that period of time from 1917 to 1922, uh, during which you know some really seismic events happened that, that shaped our culture, our, our landscape and our society that we still face today. They'll tackle hard issues, they will tackle things like working with victims and survivors, uh, tackling uh, the issue of punishment tax in our council area. Our hope is through the Don't Shoot Me Wayne Shoot Me project uh, is to enlighten people to how punishment attacks within our community uh, has divided the community and has hurt uh, our young people in an ongoing basis. So our hope and aspiration is that people will look at the punishment tags in a completely different way. The Peace 4 programme is just really getting off its feet at the minute and it is going to be absolutely fantastic. It is full of cross-community projects that will benefit everyone on the ground. Not only is it cross-community but there is a lot of cross-border aspects to this as well and it's going to be really exciting once all projects are up and running. Make that really loud. We just step down a wee bit so as that comes out. Okay, let's go that, let's go that again from, that, from the film. I'm delighted to be here as part of the Peace 4 funded Culture Fuse project and we are working on a piece, we're drawing together musicians from Ulster Band, uh, Ulster Marching Band traditions, Irish tr traditional music and also we've got people who have come from pop music and rock music backgrounds and African music as well. I'm working on the Peace for Children and Young People's programme and the key aim of that programme is to promote young people's voices. So we want to establish a Derry City and Strabane District Youth Council. So that's a district-wide youth council that would bring in the voices of young people from right across the district. We're working with young people aged 14 to 18 at present and they're the steering group that are going to make the decisions about what that youth council would actually look like. The project which we've secured a Peace 4 funding for is for the Castle Derrick Shared Space Project. And in essence, what that project is, is about enhancing currently publicly inaccessible green space into thriving community space. And the project that we're leading on as part of Peace 4 is a shared space project. And what it proposes to do is to redevelop a disused wall garden back at St. Collins Park House to bring it back into a community shared space. Racism as well is something that we want to tackle and strategically make sure all our minority communities feel a welcome part of this council area uh, in a non-tokenistic way. I am very pleased that we are involved in Beyond Tokenism project because this will help with the hate crime in the area and it will spread out more in the area to let everybody know what's happening. Beyond Tokenism is a black and ethnic minority led project and to help the black and ethnic minority and migrants in the Northwest. We aim to enrich a society with cultural diversity. I'm very excited about the Beyond Tokenism cross-border project because I'm hoping that it will make a difference in relation to disability because all we're looking for is equality. We're looking for the same as, nothing different.
We received almost £25,000 through the Small Grants Programme to deliver connecting rural communities. Our project is aimed at older people aged 60 and over living in rural Fauchan. We will spend quite a bit of time exploring our rural heritage. In the 1920s there was a riot and that was the, the build up of the two settlements. This is the fourth peace programme, so Derry and Strabane have been engaged in peace building for over 20 years. The European Commission has invested over £2 billion in peace building in Northern Ireland, but unfortunately we still live in a segregated society. I'm really hoping that the projects that we have can make a difference to how people understand each other, respect each other's heritage and identity. Our council area really wants to value everyone that lives here and we want to make sure that we have a peaceful, united community moving forward.